All right, let me move that out the way. <clears throat> so anyway, I did. I just took it off. <laughs> Again, I want to thank everyone for, that's joining me today here on this Monday, um, the 19th of October. It's uh, halfway through the month, and we're finally getting our our um, our um, normal weather back. I broke out in a really bad rash all over my face from the heat, and I almost had. I thought I was going to have to cancel Saturday's crop because I looked like I had the shingles or the measles. But it, it went away. Um, I don't know. Carol will have to answer that. Carol, they're asking if you have matching paper with the claws and company paper. Matching cardstock. No, the camera didn't move. I moved. I leaned forward. <laughs> okay, so um, she says yes, they did. Okay. So... All right, now I, I'm not moving it now. I'm just zooming back to my normal range. So I'm going to put a link in the chat for today's project. I got this off of Pinterest, but it does link back to a blog. Um, and that's all I got to say about that. But that's the blog link there. And here's the tutorial that you'll, you can print out or you can just pull up the blog. So this, I love tri shutter cards and I love them for a lot of different reasons, but I love them mainly because I use them as decoration. I use them, is the card stock listed for the Prima? I don't know. I use them for decoration. So one year I decided I was gonna make something that the front was for the Christmas season and the back was for the fall season and I made it on a smaller scale and I said never again we retired that project oh my god all the little pieces drove us all crazy but we had a blast making it so this is a tri-fold mini album slash card okay and when it's folded it looks like this and it is eight inches wide and six inches high now I'm designing this to be a display piece. I'm not designing it to be mailed. So therefore, I do not have a box um, or an envelope designed for you to put this in. But if you use the envelope generator that I put up on my blog and you type in the measurements, um, you know, eight by six, it will tell you what size paper to uh, cut and where to punch to make your envelope, okay? But I'm not going to be making an envelope and I'm not going to be making a box because to, I'm making this as a display piece. So this is how it looks when it's flat. And then when you open it up, it opens like this. I don't know if I can get the camera out any further. Let me see. There you go. It opens up and it looks like this. And there's room for one, two, three, four by sixes. And then you have a four by two piece on each side. You have uh, three four by two pieces and you have six two by twos. And when it stands up, it stands up like this. I'm not sure if you can get the full effect. All right, it stands up like that. So my my idea is to make one side for Christmas season and one side for the fall season. So uh, you, if you just want to make one side and not the other side, that's fine. I'll be using the Victorian Christmas to make my Christmas side. And I'm using the Bow Bunny Enchanted Harvest to make my fall side. So it's real easy to put together, and that's what we're going to do today. And then if we, uh, then we'll start some decorating. Okay. Okay. So you'll need two pieces of 12 by 12 uh, paper for your background. Now I chose cream because it. Uh, cream, off-white, 
or something like that because <clears throat> it, excuse me just a second, <clears throat> let me get a mint. I chose this color because it goes with both collections. So you need to look at the collection you're going to be using and choose the paper that the cardstock for the background that looks best for your paper. So this is what I'm going to call the base paper. You need two 12 by 12 pieces of paper. The first one you're going to take and you're going to cut it in half at six inches. Okay? And you're going to set that aside. The other one, whoops, <laughs> my baby wipe. You're going to cut this one in. You're going to cut this one at six also. Set this piece aside. You don't need this. Then you're going to rotate this. This is a six by 12. You're going to rotate it and you're going to cut this into three, four by six pieces. So it's one. Put this at four, two, and three. So you have three, six by four pieces, four by six, however you want to say that, and two, six by 12. Now, in order to do this next step, you can do it, I mean, not the next step, sorry. Getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Okay, Renee, thanks for stopping by. Now you're going to take the 6x12 piece to your scoreboard and you're going to put the long side down. See, here's 12 inches across here. And you're going to score this at 2, 4, 8, and 10. 2, 4, 8, and 10. Okay? Then you're going to take the other 6 by 12 and do the same thing. 2, 4, 8, and 10. Okay, then you can put this away. <clears throat> now, here we go. For this next step, you'll need a... Um, let me move the camera. Whoever asked me if I'm moving the camera, I am moving it now. <laughs> okay, for this next step, you'll need a cutter that's similar to this, or you can use the craft knife and your uh, self-healing mat. So I'm just looking at my notes so I don't do this wrong. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this scored piece, this 6 by 12, I mean 12, however you want to say it, 6 by 12, 12 by 6, that you scored at 2, 4, 8, and 10, and you're going to turn it long ways so that it's the 12 inches like this, and you're going to put it at the 2 inch mark. Again, let me just make sure that I'm doing this right. Yes, you're going to put it at 2 inch mark. You're going to come and use this piece here. You're going to come down to two, and you're going to cut down to ten. Okay, from the two to the ten. All right, and it's going to look like that. Then you're going to flip it, and oops, and do the same thing. You're going to put it at the two-inch mark. Come down to two on this. See where I am? I'm at two on this right here, and I'm going to go down to ten. And that's what this little thing here is for, to let you know when you get to ten, and you'll also see your score line. And now it's going to look like this. Whoopsie. Whoopsie-daisy. It's going to look like that. 
So let's do that on the other piece that we scored. I don't know why my little thing keeps coming out. Okay, we're going to put it at the two mark, two inch mark. We're going to come down to two right here. And we're going to cut down to ten right here. We're going to flip it. Put it at the two inch mark. Two inch mark here. Come over to here to the two inch mark. Cut down. Oops. Make sure it's straight. Cut down to the 10. Right here. Okay. And then you're done. So, any questions about that so far? Did the chat freeze? Hello, did the chat freeze? Are you guys there? Did I lose you? Okay, <laughs> I thought the chat might have froze. Okay, so now you're going to take your paper and you're going to do the mountain valley technique on both pieces that we just cut. So we're going to start with this. This is the mountain. This is the easiest way for me to do it. This is the mountain. These two pieces are the valley. And this piece is the mountain. Okay? And then these two pieces let me make sure I'm getting it right. Our valley, <laughs> a mountain, and this is a valley. And then this piece is a valley, okay? And when it folds up, it looks like this. Yeah, it's just a lag. Yeah, I knew it was a lag, but I just wanted to make sure that I didn't lose you guys and the chat froze up. I know Barb. Are you painting, Barb? I'm going to tell you, I've been watching Barb at night painting those Santa Clauses that Claus Man, a.k.a. her husband, makes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so when you unfold it, Let me make sure I got on the right side. And she gives you pictures so you know exactly where you are. Okay, it's going to look like that. Okay. Now, if you want to make this a two, of, like if you want this to be two, 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 you can. But I didn't fold this one and neither did she. We left these open so these would be two by four okay so now let's do our other one once you do the first one the next one is easy oh painting has to work <laughs> wait until late okay so you're going to do mountain valley mountain valley mountain, valley, and then it'll fold up, and then it's going to fold up, and it's going to look like this, and then you want to score that real good, and then when you bring it out, it's going to look like that, so when you set them in front of, you know, on top of one another, they should look the same like that, okay? Now we're going to connect them. So you could just make it like this. This is a trifold card. So you could just make it like this, and you'd have two, or you could, when you combine them, then you have what we call a tri, okay? 
So any questions on that so far? Hi, Pam. So any questions so far on what we've done? Okay, I'm going to get a drink of water. I'm trying to keep the marbles out of my mouth because I had marbles last week and couldn't talk worth a darn. I was stumbling my words all over the place. Okay, so now we need to, we need to um, adhere them one piece to the other. Now, I'm going to suggest you use a strong adhesive for this, and I'm going to suggest you use some type of tape like score tape or miracle tape. You absolutely can use a wet glue. I just find it uh, works better for me by using the adhesive tape. And so you put two pieces down. I'm just referring to my notes here, guys, because I do not want to mess it up. <laughs> okay, so you want to burnish this really well. And I'm going to remove one piece and put it down, and then I'll remove the other. It's easier to pick up on one piece. You want to go right up to the fold line, not over. See, I put it down just a little, but you know what? It's not that much. Well, let me see. Maybe I can get it up without ripping it. Whew, see, I was lucky. If I'd put two pieces down, I might have had a little mess. So right up to the score line, but not over. Okay, then you're going to burnish that really well. Then you're going to lift up this piece. stick that down and burnish that really well. Okay, so now we have this. So, I did it wrong anyway! Caramba! <laughs> I did the same thing yesterday when I was making this sample. Okay, thank goodness for undo. That's all I gotta say. I practiced yesterday and I still messed it up. Jeez, a re. Like I said, thank goodness for undo. did we ever craft without undo? I think I've told y'all the story about when I we moved back from Hawaii and I was working on our album and I made a mistake and I had nothing to take it up with and the stores were closed and I was beside myself until the next morning because my husband was at sea and I wanted to keep working on my project. Yes, I hate it, Sandra. <laughs> I hate it when I practice and mess up. If I don't practice, it's okay. But if I practice and mess up, I get really mad. Okay. And I got pictures and I still messed up. Okay, so I have my fan here. So I'm going to crank it up and dry this off a little bit. 
Yeah, so anyway, I was working while I'm drawing this. I was working on our Hawaii album. This was in 2001. And Greg was at sea for like six weeks. And I decided I was going to camp out at the dining room table because I didn't have a craft room at that time. And I was going to finish this album while he was gone. So I'm, I'm just chucking along, man. I got the music up and I'm just having a good old time. It's like one or two o'clock in the morning. And um, I worked on like this page and everything. And then somehow when I flipped it over, I got distracted and flipped it like this. So it was going to be upside down. And I put everything on there. And then when I went to put it in the book and it was upside down, I said, oh, my God. So I went to get my undo and it was bone dry. Not one little drop. Well, I didn't know about the um, heat gun trick at that time. I didn't even have a heat gun. I mean, I didn't even know what that was. And I was beside myself. So I went on to the next page and, you know, kept on going and everything. I was, But I was really mad because all I could think about when I did finally go to bed was that page is upside down. I'm going to forget in the morning that that page is upside down. And so I made a note, a big note, and stuck it on the refrigerator. Go to Michael's and get you some undo. So I did. So let me dry this a little bit. And now I always have a backup bottle. Like, see, this one's half full. I'll be going and getting me another bottle soon. So I'm never going to go through that again. <laughs> so I just want to get this a little dry so it'll stick. So what you do is you what you do is see I did it all backwards. So let me take this off. I could use this tape if I wanted to. It's still very sticky, but I'm just gonna start over to show you the correct way. Hi, Carrie. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for everyone that came in today. You get to see that I'm human and I make big mistakes, but that's okay. We are all, we all do it. Some admit it, some don't. I have no problem admitting my mistakes. <laughs> oh, I've made my share and more. But you know what? That's life. Life is far from perfect. Okay. So you put two pieces here and two pieces here. And I'm going to show you why in just a second. Okay. Mercy. So let's burnish that down real good. A piece of my hair got stuck in there. Okay. Okay, so now what you do is you take one of the four by sixes pieces that you cut. And again, oh, it doesn't want to. You take the four by six piece you cut, you go right up to the score line, not over. and you put that down. Okay? Then you lift up this
and you store that. And the same over here. Take this, take the adhesive part, the backing off the tape. See if I had done that with glue, we'd have to start all over again. Then I really would get upset with myself. Up to the score line, not over. We are making a trifold, a double trifold shutter, blah, 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 a double trifold mini album slash card. In just a moment, I'll show you what it's going to um, look like. And then we're going to take this, flip this over, and take this backing off. And burnish that down. Okay? So now we have this. All right? So we have this part now. When it stands up, it's going to look like that. Now you can leave it like that, or you can do it the way she did it. And um, I'll put the link up again for you. There's the link. I got it off a. Of I got the idea off of Pinterest and it links back to a blog. So just be aware of that. But she did her two end pieces different, but this is how I'm going to do mine. Okay, so you, you know, do it the way that you're more comfortable with and that you want your in your the finished product to look like. So now we're going to take um, two pieces of tape adhesive here. So let me know if you have any questions. Please type it in all caps in the chat so that when I look up, um, I'll see those. Thank you, Carrie. I'll see those right away. And I'll answer them as best I can. Carrie, we're making one side to be hot Christmas and one side to be the fall slash autumn season. Or you can choose to make it totally Thanksgiving. But I won't mind to be up longer, so I'm going to uh, sooner, so I'm going to make it fall because I love the fall. It's my absolute favorite season of the year. And we have our fall weather back, thank goodness. Okay, so we're going to burnish that real good. All right. So this way you get, the way I'm going to do it, you get three four by sixes on here. So again, I'm going to remove one, the backing off one strip of the tape. And I'm using Miracle Tape, but you can use three, I'm using three eight inch Miracle Tape, but you can use Score Tape. And I believe they have some at scrap a dab -a -doo. Go up to the fold, not over. And we're going to burnish that really good. Then we're going to lift this up. And we're going to remove the backing here. Turn it over and we're going to burnish that real good. Okay, and the same thing on this side. Take another one of our four by six pieces. Go up to the fold, not over. Burnish. Lift this up. Turn 
over burnish. Okay, so now we have the base. Now we could put another 4x6 here, but we're going to cover that in cardstock and it'll cover up the seam. So that's why um, I didn't cut another piece, and neither does she instruct you to she doesn't instruct you to do that in the um, instructions either. Okay, so now when you lay it out, it's going to look like this. Okay, and these two pieces will come up, and it stands up on its own really well. So this side will be. Um, for the Christmas season and then make sure when now, now let me tell you something else I learned when I was making that other project don't flip it like this because I did that too <laughs> and that was a mess so this will be uh, let's say for conversation this is going to be the fall autumn season then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the Christmas season so for Christmas, we're using the Prima, a Victorian Christmas collection. And for fall, we're using the Bow Bunny. So let's get, let's get going here. So before we get to decorating, are there any questions? Any questions? No? Okay. So this is, um, these are four by six mats. And what I did on the sample was I went through and wrote out the sizes. Four by six, four by two, two by two, two by two, so that I didn't have to, um, thank you, Barb. Thanks, Sandra. I didn't have to think too much when I went to cut my paper. If I wanted to mat this, which I probably I am, then I know depending upon what size I want it to be. Like this is two by two, so I can either do, you know, I can either leave an eighth of an inch border or a fourth of an inch, depending on what I am working with. Okay, so if that helps you, then please, you know, feel free to do that. So now you have area for three four by six pictures. And then when it folds up, it looks like this, and it's going to be um, 6 by 8. And again, I'm not designing it to be mailed. I'm designing it as a decor piece. So I will not be making a box or an envelope, okay? I just want to give you guys heads up on that. So my three 4 by 6 pieces, I kind of think... I am going to make them the same, I'm going to mat them with the same paper. Now, in here, in the Bow Bunny um, Enchanted Harvest uh, collection, which is in the store at scrap a dab -a -do, you get 36 pages on, in this 6x6. Uh, six six. So if I can't find three that I like here, then what I'll do is I'll go to the big paper. Now you don't have to do yours like this, but this is how I'm going to um, choose to do mine. Okay? So I'm just going to audition some pages to see what I like. And to see if I have enough of the pages I like. Can you sing me Soft Kitty? I don't know what Soft Kitty is, Miss Linda. <laughs> okay, so we do have three of those. I think we used a lot of the leaves, so I don't know if we got three of the leaves. But fear not. We 
have the 12 by 12. Now see, I wouldn't use the 12 by 12 with the 6 by 6 in this because notice the difference in the sizes of the stripes. These are bigger and this is smaller. So if I use this, I'll, if I have to use this paper, the 12 by 12, I'll make all three of them out of the same size. Just keep that in mind. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know that song. <laughs> and I think these leaves would be too big. And I know Xandra loves the fairies and the butterflies. Maybe, maybe, okay, I know what I'm going to do. This is one of Sandra's favorite pieces right here. See this little fairy right here? She loves it. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. I'm looking, guys. I'm looking at something. I think what I'm. I think what I'm going to use is this bow bunny double dot. Because what I want to do is I want to use some of these cut-aparts. I could use that one. I want to use some of these cut-aparts in here. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use this one. So we need three four by sixes. Now, this is how I There's nothing to save on here. Usually I save this if it has some little, um, but I might save this part here. It says Enchanted Harvest. I think I'll just cut that off and put that in my box because I might want to use that for something. Okay, so I know that I want to use this image here. So I'm going to bring this over to um, 6. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. No, I'm going to put this at 4. Yeah, I'm going to put this at 4. And then I'm going to cut it in half at 6. Yes, I already made the base card. I'll put the link in for you to get the tutorial for the base part. Okay, so that's that's going to go there. And I'm going to put this on this side. And see this little piece down here? Why well, I want to put that. So I'm going to put this at four. And then I'm going to cut it six. Okay. So now it's going to look like this. All right.
That's our base. So I'm going to be using frayed burlap throughout the whole collection. Okay, so we cut those at four by six. Well, now I want a little bit of a um, border left around there. So we need to cut them down a little bit, okay? So we've got our three four by six pieces. So I'm going to cut this to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three and seven eighths. Yep. And five and seven eighths. And I'm cutting off. I didn't want to cut off any of this, so I cut cut off this side. And I didn't want to cut off any of that, so I cut off the bottom. Okay, you guys with me? So it is now this piece it won't matter. Three and seven eighths. by five and seven eighths. Okay, and that's that piece. Then we have an eighth of an inch border all the way around. Now again, I don't want to cut off this side because I want all of that decoration. So I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut it at three and seven eighths. And five and seven eighths. Okay. And now we have our three pieces. So let's um, distress this. And again, I'm using the frayed burlap. edges. Um, I don't want the white to show. However, if it doesn't bother you, then, you know, you can skip this step. We'll continue working on this project this Thursday. Remember at the beginning of the show, I said that um, from now until the end of December, I'm going to add a Thursday show to my streaming. And it will be at 9 o'clock a.m. Pacific Time and 12 noon on Thursday only. I'm going to keep the, this time here for Monday. Again, this will all be on my blog. So um, if you subscribe to my blog and follow me on Create with Ella Facebook page, you'll, you'll see that. So this will be our Thursday project until we finish this. And our Monday project, starting next Monday, the 26th, will be our December daily slash mini album. Okay, so let's put this down. And I'm going to use um, Miracle Tape. And if you're wondering what this is, this is a scraper for the Cricut. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra just put the link up for my blog. Now, this would also make a really cute... Uh, Real pretty um, wedding gift or birthday or anniversary, retirement. I mean, you can, 
you know, dress it up or however you want to just, you know, with the pictures. You can use two by two pictures here and some little quotes there. It can be used for a lot of different um, things. That is pretty, but I don't know if I like. Okay, let's take a boat. Do you like it like this? Or do you like it more like this? I'm thinking if we put it like this, we can really do a nice um, build up of stuff there. You could do it for babies, you could do it for graduation. Okay, well, I'm going to put it like this. Yeah, me and you, we think alike, Xandra. <laughs> we'll use this in another, something else. Okay. All right. Sandra, were you here when I told them that the heat, the humidity here was so bad that I developed a rash on the left side of my face and on the top of my, on my forehead and my hairline? And I thought I was getting the shingles or the measles. And Greg and I were researching it Saturday night because I Friday night because I thought, well, I'm gonna have to cancel the uh, crop tomorrow. I can't be going out there with the shingles and the measles, but I didn't hurt, and I've had the shingles before on the same place, and so I knew it wasn't the shingles. But I thought, well, I've had the measles too. Can I get them again? And um, they weren't the measles, and so we kept researching it, and it's the prick, prickly heat rash, prickly heat rash, and it's from um, sweating more than what your body is accustomed to in the heat. I mean, I looked really bad, but I put some uh, medication on it, and it cleared it up, and I didn't look quite so bad come Saturday. Okay, so we put that one down. Oh, you had the shingles on your stomach? Oh my God. I had them right next to my left eye. And I was in the emergency room on a Saturday night and they were saying, you need to get to an optometrist come Monday morning. They kept telling Greg, you need to get her to an optometrist. We can't tell if there's any damage to her eye or if they're going in her eye, but um, she needs to be checked out. Well, you know, I was a nervous wreck until... Um, on um, Monday morning came and we were able to get me worked in because I had the shingles and you know thank goodness they weren't they weren't damaging my eye but they were painful and then I have a friend that had them in her ear and throat and let me tell you what she was in so much pain they put her on Vicodin because they just wanted her to sleep. She was in so much pain. Oh my gosh, Sandra, I didn't know you were air traffic controller. Girl, you rock. Check you out. Did y'all know Sandra was an air traffic controller? <laughs> well, yeah, mine was from stress too, because 
that's when my nephew was in prison, my oldest nephew. He had been in prison for a year and um, or two years, two years. He served, he was sentenced to five and served 85%. Uh, anyway, he was in for two years and his wife, they had a, they have, they, their son at that time was uh, two and a half and his wife decided to um, divorce him. And I had stress from that and I was in stress at work and yeah, it was not good. It was, it was, ugh. Was horrible. Okay, so here we are. Whoopsie daisy. Let's see, we gotta get this right. So here's how we're gonna look. Okay, so now we need to get some pieces to go up in this area. So let's go back to our four by six. So what we want to do here I'm just looking at my notes because I made some notes to myself. Okay. So I think what we want to do here is we want to keep these small pieces the same. Um, we want to keep the small pieces in similar patterns and the long pieces in somewhat similar patterns. So see, there's something like this we can fussy cut to get thankful, autumn, pumpkins, to go on these 4x4 four four pieces. Oh, wow, they sent you to Oklahoma for training and you learned to do the two-step. <laughs> Yeah, my husband tried to teach me to two-step, but I kept two-stepping on his toes. His parents were great two-steppers. I love the leaves. You know, you guys know me. I love the leaves. And then we could do this like that. Oh, so I think I'm going to use this on some of these little two by two by piece two by two pieces, and I'm going to use this on some of the um, four by twos. Now I just need one more. Now just remember that the six by six is not double sided. Okay, well let's lay those down. I like the butterflies too. We could do leaves and butterflies and the foliage. Okay, well let's start with that and we'll see how it where it goes. Yeah, Greg said, you're stepping on my toes. I was like, I'm so sorry. So we gave up the two-step. <laughs> okay, so let's cut this first. We're going to fussy cut this. And um, if you guys don't like fussy cutting, then you can, you know, do something else. <laughs> So I know that these pieces are four by two. So what I want to do is make them, um, let me get a pencil because I'll forget. Okay, so they're 
4 by 2 regular. So I want to make them 3 and 7 eighths by 1 and 7 eighths mat. Okay. Because I want to keep a consistent 1 eighth of an inch all the way around. So 1 and 7 eighths. So I'm going to cut out the part I like. Uh, let me see. Okay, this is true fussy cutting here, guys. So you just um, bear with me. I want to get this. Okay, this thankful is two and a quarter, and autumn is two and three fourths. So I need it to be three and seven eighths. No, got that backwards. Three and seven eighths. Hmm. Okay, I'm just thinking a minute, guys. Hold on. One and seven eighths would make that. Okay. Where's my pencil? I need a pencil for this. You would think in all of this I had a pencil. Okay, okay, well, I'll put a little dot. Okay, one and seven eighths high. I want this little part right here. Okay, one and seven eighths. All right, so I marked off my one and seven eighths high. Okay, and now I need four and seven eighths long. I'm trying to get the um, four and seven eighths would be the here. Oh, that's perfect. I really need a pencil. <laughs> Just a second. So Jimmy, uh, Sandra, did you teach Jimmy to um, two step? Okay, so I'm going to cut this, and I'll show you what I did in just a second. Okay. Oh, you didn't know him then. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, so this piece here is four by two, okay? And I wanted to do what is truly fussy cutting and get certain words on here. Now, how did I mess that up? Good Lord, Charlie Brown. You silly goose, Ella. You silly goose. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to correct it. Well, it still works out good. It should have been three and seven eighths. Duh. You like wearing the cowgirl hat. <laughs> I bet you did. Oh, goodness. Okay. Three and seven eighths. Let me make sure that's right. Yes, sir, everybody. So, see, we're going to put that one in the middle right there. And what I wanted was, and I'll bring you in a little closer so you can see. I wanted these word, this little collage of words right in here was what I was after. So it worked out just perfect. And this is true fussy cutting, let me tell you. So now I want to put another one over on this side with a different grouping of words. And let me see if I can get my pumpkins, because as you guys know, I love pumpkins. That's three and seven eighths. Oh, I like this even better. Okay, hold on. I'll show you what I'm going to do. And one and seven eighths. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Well, I like that, but I won't, never mind. I want my pumpkins. One and seven eighths. Okay, so that's one and seven. One and seven eighths and three, uh, two and seven eighths. Okay, right here. Okay. Oh, we're going to do some uh, layering. Yeah. We're going to do some layering. Okay, so I'm going to cut this at, I've already marked it, but it's one and seven eighths high and two and seven eighths. I'm sorry, three and seven eighths. Oopsie daisy. Okay. So this will go here. So this says foil, um, let's see, acorns, traditions, pie, leaves, foliage, pie, fall, acorns, bountiful, crisp. And this one says, apple cider, autumn pumpkins, imagine. Oh, I love it. Okay, so let's do these.
Okay. And we'll use our score tape. Sandra, did you see um, the zombie con that they had? Um, ah, forget where it was. It was on the news this morning. There was a. Shooting at the zombie con. I can't remember if it was in LA. I can't remember where it was. But. It's this big convention like Comic Con, but it's for zombies. And they dress up, oh my gosh, talk about looking like real zombies. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Anyway, somebody went, you know, a little nuts with the gun, and you know how that goes. Oh, Florida. Okay, Florida. I thought about you, Zandra. I really did. It's my heart. I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, what's the what's the point? You know, what what was the point? That's what I don't get. What was the point? Anyway, but I thought about you with the zombie walk. So before we forget, I want to say that Zandra comes on Wednesday. Sandra, you can go ahead and put your link in. Sandra comes on, on Wednesdays and she has a new time. She's doing Wednesday and Sunday shows and she comes on now at uh, 7 30 Eastern Time and 4 30 Pacific and she scraps to Beauty by Zandra or Zandra 17 you can find her either way and then Gwen comes on tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern and 10 a.m. Pacific and she's crafty lady and then Zandra does Jean come on today I need to put her link there too Oh, you're welcome, Zandra. You're welcome. Zandra is making this adorable mini album, you guys, with the same paper collection. And I just love the cover. She did this burlap cover. My gosh. So pretty. And I don't know what Gwen is um, working on. Okay, so we'll put this piece here. This one looks a little different. Hmm, I'll look at that after the show. Yeah, there's Jean, music scrapper. We tell her she's in Mars because she's in uh, Newfoundland, Sandra. She's so funny. I love to hear her talk. Okay, and then I think on the bottom, I really like the leaves. So let's take a vote. Should we put the leaves on the little squares with some butterflies on the little squares? Should we use the leaves and the butterflies on the little squares? We can alternate them. You know, leaves, butterflies, leaves, butterflies. What you guys think? Speak up or forever hold your peace. Oh, I know, Manga, but it's recorded. And we'll be using this die, too. That's what I think I'm going to put in here. 
is I'm going to use some of the pieces on the die from the die, which I just love. Okay, so we're, we're I'm thinking of taking and putting uh, some of the little squares, the two by twos in this, and some in this. Speak now, forever hold your peace. We don't have much time. Y'all need to speak up. Okay, well, I'm going to cut them and see how they look. <laughs> okay. If we don't like them, we can put them somewhere else. So, one and seven eighths. Oh, good. Well, have a great time, Miss Z. You just go right ahead and celebrate that birthday. Celebrate it as long as you can. I'll see you on Wednesday. Okay, so let's put that one there. Use the leaves that are darker. What leaves that are darker? We could put, um, we could do the butterflies here. And do the I'm just cutting out the little squares. Okay, hold on. Rumba. Oh, that's the same with that. I'm trying to get a different leaf in there. That's not really working out for me here.
Okay, I think it's kind of busy with that. Do you like the leaves there like that? How are you doing it? I tried and it didn't work for me. Oh, you're talking about tea dyeing. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. But they use coffee, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well, I have these four squares cut out. I'm going to think about this. But I do like the butterflies. So I've got to use them in there. So maybe we can just fussy cut some of them out and put in there. So anyway, we're out of time, and now's the time to say goodbye to all my friends in the box. Oh, okay, you like it like that, yeah. I love the leaves, so somehow I'm, I think I'm going to use the leaves on the four corners, and then we'll put something different here and here. Okay, guys, so thanks for joining me. It was a lot of fun, as always, and... Um, I need to get going too because I have an appointment at 1.40. But I'll see you on Thursday at 9 o'clock Pacific Time. Thursday, 9 o'clock Pacific Time, 12 noon Eastern Time, same channel. And we'll continue working on this every Thursday until we're finished and then we'll start another project. And then on Monday, we're going to start our project with the, um, with the um, Simple Stories Claws and Company using the O-Snap collection. Okay? All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to uh, check out Jean, who's coming on soon. And Gwen will be on tomorrow, and Zandra will be on Wednesday. Okay, guys. I'll see you later. Have a great day.